Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today um, we are going to be looking at a piece called Twilight Prelude. This can be found on pages 36 and 37 of the Celebration Series 6th edition Piano Repertoire Book Level 3. Um, and this is a beautiful piece um, that is found in the syllabus for the Royal Conservatory of Music in the 2022 um, in edition. There are a lot of beautiful aspects to this piece, but something that's mostly most interesting, I, I find, uh, as we go over to the piano keyboard, is to demonstrate how the melody um, can be shared, um, not just between the hands, but especially in the left hand, as the left hand crosses over the right hand. The right hand mostly has the sh uh, contains the shimmering, beautiful eighth note broken chord patterns, and then the left hand has an interesting melody with syncopation. In 4-4 four, four time, we have groups of three quarter notes, then three quarter notes, and then two quarter notes, which would be equal to eight beats, but organized over two measures of music, the melody sound ca is counted like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And so when you play with the right hand as well, hear how there's an interesting um, offbeat, somewhat uh, sounding um, material. Now something that's interesting is when we have the crossing hands in the second page. So you can hear how the melody changes place. Um, the melody is mostly in the left hand for the piece, but the shimmering effect of the um, quarter note uh, patterns in, and the timing of the, the long notes versus the eighth note patterns in the right hand really helps to create that sense of shimmering mystery, but also with some different layers occurring as the hands move around the piano keyboard. The form of this piece is where we play the first page all the way to, to line four of page two, but then we go back to DC Alcoda, which means we go back to the beginning and play up to bar 14, and then we skip over to the coda, which is bars 37 to the end. I do hope you enjoy this piece as much as I enjoy playing it. Let's listen to the piece called Twilight Prelude.
There are a lot of um, details related to crescendos and decrescendos, some gradual waves of sound as we get louder and softer gradually. That really helps to create some interesting shape within the piece. I do hope you have some fun as you practice this. And of course, practicing slowly, making sure the shimmering sound and the dynamics are included right from the start will really help you to enjoy the beautiful music within. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time for another tutorial. Until then, enjoy your music and take care.